Hi, my name is Sean Shirk. Today we're going to do week number three of my green smoothies. This week I'm going to do a lot of different types of greens. I've got my normal greens which are broccoli, kale, collard greens, spinach. Those are the stuff I keep in my smoothies every single week. So I've got that stuff already mixed up in the blender. And I'm also going to add a lot of different greens, uh, different kinds of fruits and vegetables and things of that nature. So this week I'm going to use a green salad mix, which is which is already which is already mixed up inside the blender here, and it's already washed and clean for me. I got about uh, about a handful of that. I've also got some uh, organic orgula, which is uh, about about one handful, which is which is in the blender already clean, along with some spinach. So. Um, the other stuff I'm going to add this week is going to be some Brussels sprouts, which is uh, already already mixed up and clean. I've got some uh, some celery, some pears, green apples, um, honeydew, along with some uh, with some wheatgrass, which which I'm going to put in there, which is a, which is a powdered wheatgrass. I'll just take a scoop and throw it in there as I'm mixing it up, and a couple bananas and some green grapes. So most of mostly. Uh, it's all it's all green. So this this smoothie is actually uh, the study and the research I've done on greens has is, is, is been phenomenal. So it's the best source of protein you can have, um, very easily attainable into your body, absorbs very well into your body, and, and, and there's no harmful side effects. So I've been doing a lot of this stuff lately, and the results I've gotten is, have been phenomenal. So uh, that's why I want to share it with you guys. So you can so you can try it, and hopefully you get the same results I have. So. First thing we'll do here, I got I got I got my salad mix and my argula and my spinach already in the blender. It's already it's already clean and washed for me. I got about maybe a cup and a half of water put in there already. So I'll blend this up to till it's a fine liquid, and then I'll start adding my other greens to it. I'll add my uh, my collard greens. I'll add my broccoli. I'll add my uh, my Brussels sprouts and my celery. So I'll add all the vegetables up first because I want those to get blended as, as, as much as possible till, so, so they're liquefied. Then I can add my fruit in there after that. So we'll get this started here. I'll put the cap on it. So once I get this started, I'll start it off on, on low just so, just so it kind of gets blending a little bit. You can see it kind of mixing up in there for me. And I'll turn it up gradually a little bit. I don't want to turn it up too high, too fast, otherwise it'll, it'll splash and squirt everywhere. So. I'll get this going here. This is mixing up pretty well already, so I'll turn it down. Now I can add some of my other stuff in there. This is my collard right here. This is all, all mangled and beat up looking because I washed it already, so it's already pretty washed and ready to go. We'll get that blended up again. Turn this up a little bit. I got three pieces of broccoli here. I put a little more water in there this time than I normally do, just because using a lot more greens than I normally do so I wanted to make sure it's real gets real blended up nice and nice and well so I don't have to stop it I don't have to try to mix it around with the fork or anything like that I'll just blend it for me real nice so I got a, I got a good amount of water in there. turn it down a little bit now I can throw my I can throw my celery in there get that going As that's mixing, I'll just throw my Brussels in there. I got this new blender here about a week ago, so I'm still kind of figuring out how to use it. It's done, it's done a phenomenal job for me so far. But there's a little bit of a learning curve. My other blender I had, I had for probably about seven or eight years, and I've made thousands of smoothies with it. So I knew it. I knew how it worked very well. Um, but this one I'm pretty happy with so far. It's working well for me. I'm gonna throw a kiwi in there. I just leave the skins on it. I make sure that I scrub the skins very well. Get all get all the all, all the germs and pesticides off it. So I use a I use a food scrubber. 
and scrub it very well to make sure it's very clean. So then I can leave the skin right on it and throw it right in there like that. I'm going to use uh, a green apple. Just throw the whole thing in there and let it blend up real good. some green grapes in there, probably maybe a couple handfuls. That's my grapes. Throw my lid on there and let it do its thing. Now I should have enough room, I should have enough room to put a banana in there. I was going to put two, but because I added more water, I don't have quite as much room as I normally do. Normally I put two bananas in there. But that's fine. I think I got enough fruit in there to make this thing taste pretty good. There's my banana. Let it mix up. I'm going to take a scoop of uh, wheatgrass powder. This is organic wheatgrass powder. I like to add this stuff a lot to my smoothies as well. This is pretty much one of my mainstays. I'm taking, uh, taking one tablespoon of this. Throw that in there, let it mix up for maybe maybe about 20 more seconds, and I think it should be good. Bring this up on high for a second. I should probably do it. So now, as you can see, we used we used all greens for this smoothie. Every, every, every type of fruit and every type of vegetable you put in there besides the banana was all greens. I've got probably about, that's probably a good seven cups right there. That's pretty full. So this will, this will last me throughout the day. I'll, I'll drink one full cup right now as, as, uh, you know, as, I'm getting, as I'm just finishing my morning workout. And then I'll save the rest for later on tonight, which I usually drink with my dinner. I store this in the refrigerator. I just put some, I put some saran wrap over the top of it, just like this, and then I'll wrap it with a rubber band so it stays fresh for me uh, for, the, for the remainder of the day. So for this recipe and for all the other smoothie recipes I did, you can go to www.trainingmask.com or you can go to the Training Mask Facebook or the Training Mask uh, Twitter site to, to find uh, the full ingredients of this website, of this, of this smoothie and the other smoothies I've done previously. So... Uh, Give this a try. Uh, hopefully you enjoy and uh, here's to your health. <laughs>